I sat down and watched a whole Cossack web series with no subtitles. This is how it all started. So I was sitting there thinking of how I can get more Cossack listening without having to talk to anyone. And I thought, you know, TV is a great way to listen, right? But the thing is, I don't have TV channels at my home. I have a TV, but no TV channels. So I began searching online. Basically, if you search online in English, Kazakh TV, Kazakh dramas, nothing really shows up. No TV shows show up. Then I remembered some memory of something called Salem, and I looked up Salem on YouTube, and then Salem episodes showed up. Now, before you start saying in the comments, Salem is run by the government. Salem is just propaganda. Listen, tell me this, where can I find short videos of people speaking Kazakh that are entertaining, that aren't the news, online? If you can give me some resources, I would gladly like those. But Salem is doing something that, as far as I know, not a lot of people are doing in Kazakhstan, which is providing fictional content, like web dramas, in Kazakh. So finally, I found some Kazakh-only material. So until you make some good Kazakh content, then I'm gonna watch Salim episodes. The good thing about Salim web dramas is that they're short, around 15 to 20 minutes. And why is this good? So basically, when you're listening to something, especially if you're low level, you can only listen for a certain amount of time before your brain kind of goes Bleh. Think of it this way. Interpreters who are translating from one language to another usually go in 20 minute rotations because when they're translating in their brain and saying things out loud or maybe in text, their brain gets very tired after 20 minutes. And if you're a lower language level, you're probably translating in your brain or at least trying to do a lot of work in your brain. So your brain needs some rest. You can't watch an hour drama and be able to understand anything. Your brain will probably turn to mush. So what I recommend, if you're a beginner language learner, try to find shorter learning materials. Honestly, the shortest ones I could find were from the textbook that I was using, which are short dialogues, but I ran out of those. I've already listened to all of them. I wanted something new. Anyways, back to Salem episodes. So I looked on their channel and I saw that they had many different series, I guess you could call them, but I was looking and boom. I found one called Sui Kimde Stories, which is like lovely stories or maybe cute stories. I'm not sure of the exact translation. I'm sure someone in the comments can tell me what the exact translation is. But basically, when I read that, I automatically knew, hey, this is a drama about love. And you know what that means? The plot is probably simpler, or at least easier to understand. If you watch dramas, the plot has a few variations and they usually fall under one of those variations. So I figured, even if I'm not going to understand a lot of the content, if I watch this drama, I might be able to kind of pick up on what's happening. But there was one problem. I clicked on the first video and there's no subtitles in English or Kazakh. Literally, the only subtitles are in Russian and that doesn't help me at all. Like maybe I could get five words. I understand that there wouldn't be some English subtitles because maybe their English viewing audience isn't that big, but why not Cossack subtitles? I mean, there are definitely people who like to watch things with subtitles on and definitely deaf people in Kazakhstan who might like to watch a drama in Kazakh. Why, why, no, why no Cossack subtitles? Oh. So with no other place to turn, I decided I'm gonna watch it anyways, without the subtitles. And this basically means I didn't understand anything they were saying. Yeah, there were a few words I could understand, maybe a few grammar parts that were like, oh, I learned that. But overall, no, no, there was no like understanding of what they were saying really. But you know what I could understand? Body language and a general plot line. And you know what? Just because of these other skills that all humans inherently have, I don't think I misunderstood hardly any of the plot. There was only two points where I didn't understand what was happening. One point was where this other female love interest came in and for some reason, I thought that that was the main male character's sister. 
And so I was totally wrong when things started to get way different. And then I realized, oh, this is another love interest, not this person's sister. And the second time that I misunderstood was when they completely changed one of the actors between two episodes. I thought like, is this the same guy? Is this Marat? Who is this guy? But basically they just changed actors and I realized that later on. In fact, I'm pretty sure I could retell the whole story because um, it was pretty simple, you know, love triangles, fights, redemption, that type of stuff. It had it all, plus a little bit of bad acting. I'm not gonna lie, some of the people didn't act that well, but you know, Beggars can't be choosers. I'm really just appreciative that there's actually like some Kazakh content of people talking together. But what about my language learning? Did I actually learn anything? Well, I think if we just look at my grammar and my vocab, I'm not sure I really learned very much. Since I'm at such a low level, it's hard for me to pick up new words because all the words are new. Maybe I just reaffirmed some of the vocabulary and grammar that I didn't know, but that is a very small portion. What I do think I may have improved on is my understanding of Kazakh intonation and the way people kind of speak. I kind of picked up on how people ask questions, how people might sound when they're annoyed, especially the main girl. She was always saying the main guy's name over and over again in annoyed or one way. I can even say it now. Ilyas, Ilyas, Ilyas. Basically, I know that name very well now. <sighs> but yeah, it was interesting experience to watch a drama where there were no subtitles and I really don't have any substantial language skills. Just because I can't find any other language materials, I'm excluding songs and poems like that because Songs, the vocabulary is usually not what's used in real life. And poems, the structure is so crazy. Because of that, I'm probably gonna still watch Solemn episodes, their other content, even though those plots will be more difficult because they're not necessarily love stories. But I'll probably continue anyways, just because I need to listen to something. If you have any recommended non-historical Kazakh dramas, preferably that are short, go ahead and Tell me in the comments below because I'm looking for new content to watch or listen to. I'm also curious of what you guys think of Salem episodes. I'm sure you all have opinions. And also, have any of you watched Suikimde stories? I might be saying it wrong, but um, I'm not sure how many people have actually watched it, but if you've watched it, what did you think? Or if you haven't watched it, go, go watch the first episode. It's easy to watch. That's it for my video. I'll see you next time. Uh, bye bye